Okay, tonight I am going to attempt to fix my washing machine. Got the front off, and I'm working on getting this top off and bent back. I had to revert to my little pinky crappy remover tool instead. I don't know how good this is, but yay! I've got my lid up. I got the front off and I got the lid up. Now i got to figure out what I do next. Okay, what I'm working on here is removing these springs that were hooked in the front flashlight. Instead of having to remove the bolt from the bottom and then tape it so it being the same part, I was able to... This has to hook in up here. If I had a good light, it'd be good. In that little hole, which it doesn't reach. So I use this box to stretch it. Got an electric box. And I stretched the coil, and then I stuck in the electric box, which keeps it stretched. And when I bend it down, I'll be able to put it back. And it says my damper pads are under this part right here. And when I put a 4x4, four four, which I'm using a rock, under here, where I took the belt off, I'm going to set it on that. That's going to push up the center. Oh, yeah, I can see them. I can see my little pads right under there. And then I'll be able to get that, get those old pads off. Oh, yeah, they're all crudded up. Okay. Oh, it's going good. Yay! Let me just say it was a real pain in the ass. So I've got two off, and I'm working on getting that one stretched. See, I've got the electric box on the coil. And then once I get it stretched, it'll keep it stretched, and I can pop it out of that little holder right up there. Okay. Okay, now I've got my washing machine tilted back. Okay, hopefully it doesn't fall on me. I got a big piece of rock underneath it. And now I have to take the belts off. So I'm going to work on getting my belts off the pulley. Okay, here we go. Okay, got both my belts off. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, there's my damper pads. I used a, I put a, a, a brick sideways. I laid it in the center of the pulley and it pushed up the inside center here of my washing machine. Now these are the stupid little damper pads and I have to scrape these off and clean this off. Get around here. I'll just have to move it around and then I have to put on my new damper pads. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Yes! I'm going to use my camera see if I can see where that last pad is. One more pad take off. It's in the back here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to look and see if I can see off this base. I've been using a wire brush, which I have hit through my finger 50 times. Here it is. It's all cookie. And then I have to go all the way around, even to the back. I have to get this smooth as can be. And it's a pain in the butt. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how clean I got my uh, base here. I've scraped it, scrubbed it. Of course, I cut my arm because it's real sharp in there and these things that stick down and so I cut myself ow now I got to get it all dried and clean it with alcohol so I can get the glue on and then I have to try to get the pads on in the right place okay okay now I'm going to use alcohol and a cloth and I'm going to clean that base real good to get all that remover off so I can put glue on. Okay, this is my work area. It's very narrow. Here's the washing machine. Here's the wall. Okay. I have got the base clean, I think. And I'm going to have to work with a mirror. And I'm going to have to put the back pad on back here. If I have to look at the mirror, I have to get it straight. And it's supposed to be 3.30 seconds from the top edge here. I'm going to put the back one on first because then I've got to put two other pads on here. Okay, these are the old cruddy pads I took off. And this little bag with three pads, little, little pieces of felt with a little bottle of glue, cost 20 some dollars. This is it. This is what I'm going to put on. Okay, and I'm going to have to do this with a mirror from the back. 
Cal, as it would be, I opened up my $20 kit of three little felt pads, and I thought they gave me glue. No. They gave me silicone gel. They were a real pain in the butt. I'm gonna let them set overnight for a... Oh my god. I started to put the dry rat together. I forgot to lubricate the pads. That would have been a big mess. So now I've had to lift it back up. And now I'm going to have to go down and lubricate each one of the pads. We're going to get this silicone lubrication. Okay, I got on the, whoops, got on the one belt. Now I'm going to get on the second belt. Anyway, where the heck did the second belt go? Ah. Over here. Whoops, second belt. Just start to turn this. Work the belt on. Okay. Both belts back on underneath. Drive belt. Looking good. Okay, looking pretty good. Got the second one in. Yay! Wow, okay, I got two back on. One more spring to go. Let's see. Let's do this. Damn, my hands are slipping. Damn, hold on to this. <sighs> Almost. Almost. In. Yay! I got all three springs back in. Okay, now I just gotta work these suckers on. Okay, getting ready now to shut the top. Gotta screw that back down. Then I'll be putting my front. Oh my god. Top's on. Front's on. Just have to level it. I'm out of breath. Been fighting with this front panel. I had to get the clips in. Push it up. Hook it over the edge. That took me longer than anything else. Okay, I got it leveled as good as it's gonna get. My hands.